Hello, 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 beautiful people. Hello, my fans out there. It's your one and only Passion Glow TV show. It's me, your girl, the Royal, the Royal Lolo Aneke TV. You are all blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. There is this message I'm about to give now. The message is about the eight dangerous people in an organization. You need to know and handle them with wisdom and knowledge. I repeat, the message I'm going to give is all about the title, just listing and listing carefully it's all about the message is all about i need to bring it to your notice you need to know as i said my uh, channel is all about entertainment so anything i i i know that i have i will bring it to your notice so it's about the eight dangerous people in an organization you need to know and handle them with wisdom and knowledge. In all this, as a leader, is an, is, uh, as a leader in organization, as a leader, beware that one stage or the other in your business or association, you will find yourself dealing with the following groups of people if you don't have wisdom to deal with them, your position and effort are in danger. So, I've read it out to you now. You have heard it. So, I'm going to be telling you, that, as I said before, eight dangerous people in an organization. You need to know and handle them with wisdom and knowledge. The eight people... They are eight, eight, uh, the eight dangerous people. They are into eight groups. Eight. So, the, the one as a leader, these are the things you need to do. As a leader, beware that at one stage or the other in your business or association, you will find yourself dealing with the following groups of people. If you don't have wisdom to deal with them, your position and efforts are in danger. That simply means your position and effort are threatened. It's already threatened. So, I have to tell you this. The eight groups, number one, is Thomas Group. So all you need to know about Thomas Group is what I'm going to be reading to you right now. All you need to know about them, the way they are, who they are, how they, how they behave, how they do things. All you need to know about them is what I'm going to be reading out to you now. In Thomas Group, Thomas Group, they work with you, but they don't really believe in you. You see, they work with you, but they don't really believe in you. Though God can use you in front of them, they are not easily moved. They take time to believe in you. These people can delay your vision and they are also not aware they are also delaying themselves. It is it's a struggle and a burden to lead people who don't believe in you. Let me go again. Thomas Group, whom they are, what they do, what they represent, the way they behave, is what I'm going to be saying now. They work with you but they don't really believe in you. Though God can use you in front of them, they are no 
easily moved. They take time to believe in you. These people can delay your vision. And they are also not aware. They are also delaying themselves. It's a struggle and a burden to lead people who don't believe in you. You see? To lead people who don't believe in you is a burden and a struggle to lead people who don't believe in you. So, this is for the Thomas group. The second group, the group is Judas group. Judas group. They work with you, but they have issues with you. When God begins to bless you, they are not happy. When things of great value are given to you, in short, they are jealous of your success. When elevation comes, they will say we are poor in the work workplace, but the boss is driving a BMW 5 Series. But we have, we have people that are struggling financially in this workplace. They want you to drive a Toyota task which will make them happy. They have serious issues if your life becomes better and better. They talk as if you don't care about the poor. Hear this, leaders. Anyone who is jealous about your, your prosperity in your workplace, tomorrow he will betray you. You hear that? <laughs> I laugh because it's funny though. It's not funny at the same time. So you are I know you are you are getting my message, so I have to read it again to you. Judas group. That is the second group. Judas group, they walk, this is their attitude, the way they behave to you. The way they do things, these are what I'm going to be doing. The way they behave to you, the way they do things. <laughs> so, it's what I'm going to be telling you now. Judas group, they work with you, but they have issues with you. When God begins to bless you, they are not happy. When things of great value are given to you. In short, they are jealous of your success. When elevation comes, they will say, we are poor in the workplace, but the boss is driving a BMW 5 Series. But we have people that are struggling financially in this workplace. They are the ones saying this now. They want you to drive a Toyota task, which will make them happy. They have serious issue if your life becomes better and better. They talk as if you don't care about the poor. Hear this, leaders. Anyone who is jealous about your prosperity in your workplace, tomorrow he will betray you. I hope you understand this. They talk as if you don't care about the the poor. You you understand that they want to scandalize your name. They want to spoil your name. They will make people to believe and understand that you don't care about the poor. So hear these leaders. I'm not talking to the leaders now. Hear these leaders. Anyone who is jealous about your prosperity in your workplace, tomorrow he will betray you. There is no two ways about it. He will. 
he will betray you. No two ways about it. Then let's go to, to the third group. The third group is this. The third group is Absalom group. Hmm. Absalom group. That is the third group. Absalom group, you give them opportunity to teach or lead and he begins to see himself as the leader of the place whom are we talking about the leader give a salon group opportunity you you give them opportunity to teach or lead and he begins to see himself as the leader of the place he believes he can teach and lead better than you when he leads he leads to prove a point underline that word he leads to prove a point not that he is leading on his own he's leading to prove a, a point because it's like he's not in challenge with you that give him the opportunity to do that so he needs to prove a point that he is better than you. He needs to prove, prove a point that he is better than you that give him the opportunity. He needs to prove a point that is he is better than you. He won't even mention you in his conversation. He walks behind you to steal the heart of people so that people will follow him he will make people to feel they are neglected in your in your own position he will tell people he is there for them to help them anytime they need help this one he, this one he is in competition with you he believes he can be a better leader than you. Tomorrow, trust me, he will split your followers. Hope you get that. I read again. The Asalom group. You give them opportunity to teach or lead. And he begins to see himself as the leader of the place. He believes he can teach and lead better than you. When he leads, he leads to prove a point that he is better than you. He won't even mention you in his conversation. He was behind you to steal the heart of people so that people will follow him. He will make people to feel they are the they are neglected in your position. He will tell people he is there for them to help them anytime they need help. This one he is in competition with you. He believes he can be a better leader than you tomorrow. Trust a better leader than you. Trust me. Tomorrow, trust me. He will split your followers. Such asylum, asylum group, that is what they can do. When you give him opportunity to teach, tomorrow, trust me, he will split your followers. Then the, the fourth, the Korah group. Korah group, this one, we challenge your authority. He believes you are at the same level with everyone. And he has issues when other, others gives honor to you. 
he will say you are honoring this man too much he has issues when you give instructions he is rebellious and dangerous underline that word he is rebellious and dangerous because he sees you as someone who is at the same level with him he believes everyone is professional and everyone is educated so what is so special about you i go again Cora group that is for number four this one will challenge your authority he believes you are at the same level with everyone and he has issues when others gives honor to you he will say you are honoring this man too much he has issue when you give instruction he is rebellious and dangerous because he sees you as someone who is at the same level with him he believes everyone is professional and everyone is educated so what is so special about you mm. Number five, harm group. Harm group, this one, he will expose your nakedness. Hmm. The day you find yourself in a shameful act, he will tell everybody your weakness. He will tell everybody your weaknesses and he will be happy to expose your disaster. Hmm. Too bad. This one is very, very dangerous. I repeat, number five, out of the eight groups, number five, harm group. This one he will expose your nakedness. This hand group is the number five hand group. This one, he will expose your nakedness. The day you find yourself in a shameful act, he will tell everybody your weaknesses and he will be happy to expose your disaster. That is harm group for you. Gehazi group. Number six. Gehazi group. Gehazi group. This is their attitude. He is with you, but he will be collecting money from behind your back. He takes advantage that he is close to the leader and use that to collect things from people he borrows money from people and he does not pay them back he goes to people to ask for financial assistance and makes people feel you are not taking good care of him as he serves in the house I hope you understand it. I repeat. Number six, Gehazi group. This is their attitude. He is with you, but he will be collecting money from behind your back. He takes advantage that he is close to the leader and use that to collect things from people. He borrows money from people and he does not pay them back. He goes to people to ask for financial assistance and make people feel you are not taking good care of him as he serves in the house. Meaning, if he's living with the master as he serves with him, 
he made people to understand, to believe that you don't take good care of him. That is number six, Gehazi group. Number seven, <clears throat> number seven, the Trophist group. The Trophist group, this one is too dangerous. Is is this one is too dangerous the the trophies group this one is too dangerous he is famous in the workplace group association he has power and influence and as a voice amongst the people he speak malicious words behind your back. He is poisonous. You heard that word? You heard that word? <clears throat> the Trophies Group this one is too dangerous. He is famous in the workplace. Group association. He has power and influence and has a voice amongst the people. He speak malicious words behind your back. He is poisonous. He can come with stories that can totally destroy your image as a leader. He can come up with serious Serious lies that cause people to leave your group. It will come with stories that you are using their money. You are sleeping with women. And you, you, and you are also using... <laughs> this one is... <laughs> and you are you are sleeping with women and you and you are also using sangomas to sustain your position his stories are very harmful and dangerous The last but not the least, the sub this the Sabalat and Tobas group. Hmm. The Sabalat and Tobas group. This is the last but not the least. Most demonic fighting against you the sabalat and tobas group they are most demonic fighting against you in lies and in discouragement in everything this group can fight they can fight against you therefore i pray that god will give you I mean us, each and every one of us that find ourselves in such. God should give us wisdom to go with this kind of people when you find them. When you find them in your position. You, you use wisdom to go with them and be very very careful if not they will mess you up so in this eight group 
according to the title eight dangerous people in an organization you need to know and handle them with wisdom and knowledge as a leader this is the advice given to the leaders each and every one of us that find ourselves in this kind of situation as a leader beware that at one stage or the other in your business or association you will find yourself dealing with the following groups of people people like this like these eight groups i just mentioned you will find yourself dealing with the following groups of people if you don't have wisdom to deal with them your position and effort are in danger your position and effort are threatened they are in danger if you don't use wisdom and knowledge to follow them in other words you just have to be very very careful with this kind of people when you come across them you just have to be very 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 careful extra careful if not as i read to you just now you will see oh they will destroy you they will destroy your image they will destroy your personalities they have a lot they can do they have a lot they can do Like this Thomas group, like this uh, uh, Thomas group, hmm. they have different way they can come, they have dif different way they can remote, they can do anything and undo. Because they are very, very wicked. When you find yourself in a situation like this, as, as a leader, when you find yourself like this, all you need to do is just to be very, very careful. Use wisdom. That is when wisdom and knowledge comes in. You use wisdom, you use knowledge. Just to follow them. If not, they will mess you up. They will, they will disgrace you. Out of your office, they will disgrace you out of wherever you belong. They they are into everything. They will scandalize your name. They are ready to damage your image. They don't care. All they care about is about them, 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 them. That is what they care about. They don't care. They don't care about you. Give them an opportunity. They will just mess you up. If you are not vigilant enough, if you don't, even when you are vigilant enough, you just, all you need, you just have to have wisdom to follow them. You just have to have that wisdom to follow them. They are very, very dangerous. This is the eight people, eight dangerous people in an organization you need to know and handle them with wisdom and knowledge number one thomas group two judas group three the asalon group four cora group five ham group six gehazi group seven the trophies group Eight, the last but not the least, the Sabalat and Tobas group. They are very, very demonic. Most demonic fighting against you in lies and in discouragement. So, as a leader, when you find yourself in this kind of situation, all you need to do as a leader, beware. 
that at one stage or the other in your business or association you will find yourself dealing with the following groups of people if you don't have wisdom to deal with them your position and effort are in danger so these eight groups at any point of time when you 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 fall you have an at uh, any point of time you you have in organization in an organization you must see this is what this is telling us you must see something someone people like this they are all they are there they are always there they are always there all you have to do is to use your wisdom and knowledge to follow them if not they will destroy your name they will destroy your image they will destroy your career as well they will tarnish your image inside the eight of them they are very wicked they have different ways to deal with people so at all times as a leader you just have to use wisdom and knowledge this is the message i brought to you i just want you to see you will gain one or two things and you will understand what i'm talking about and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up give it a give this video a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up at least you must have learned one or two things inside this video when you see it give it a thumbs up like like watch please share and don't hesitate to subscribe to my youtube channel passion glow tv show the royal lolo and naked tv please subscribe and don't hesitate to source to like my page royal lolo and naked like my page thank you thank you for watching thank you for watching i love you all all my fans all over the world wherever you are i thank you i thank you i appreciate you i love you all i can love you less i really love you love you love you love you i love you all i love you all one love